So guys, today back for another video on the channel today. We're here for the Newcastle United versus Manchester City player ratings. What an absolute madness of a game that was. If you want to go and see my reaction and the run to the game, I button at the top, link in the description or on the end screen if you want to go and watch that. But in today's video, we'll do the normal. Each player wanted to well do you at the 10. It was a positive performance today. I'd be interested to give some ratings to be fair because I think some players were actually really good and some players didn't really stand out in the game. So we'll go through them all now. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, boys. And let's start off by looking at the goalkeeper, Martin Dubravka. Martin didn't really have to do anything today apart from one save I can re actually remember. I don't think he could have done anything with the goals. Absolutely nothing. The first one, it's deflected. What you meant to do. Second one is an unbelievable finish. Third one's bounced off the post and he's got an open goal. And the fourth one, I mean, he maybe, maybe he's on a good day, he could have saved that. But I think Martin, he can't really judge his performance. He conceded four goals, so you've got to drop his rating down a little bit if it's his fault or not. I'm going to give Martin Dubravka a 5 out of 10. Right wing back now, Jacob Murphy. I think Jacob Murphy actually played quite well in that game, to be honest. I think he I think he done very well, to be honest. I think he really controlled that right-hand side of the pitch. And he had Sterling for a lot of the game, where Sterling really couldn't do anything. He couldn't do anything. So that changed their plans. And they just went on third on towards the side, and it's got them the goals. They couldn't handle Jacob Murphy. They really couldn't in that first half. So fair play to him. He was getting up the pitch. He was coming back, and it's what it's all we asked for. It was a bit of work, and he and he gave him that a day. Jacob Murphy, seven out of ten. We'll go to the centre backs now. We'll start off with the right centre back, which was Federico Fernandez. He got substituted off in the 88th minute. And you know what? Mm, he didn't really stand out at all. One of the one and two centre backs. I think he was the worst centre back of everyone. Uh, I think defensively, well, actually, not, not. We'll not get onto the other ones. We'll speak about Federico Fernandez. Mm, eh, I mean, for, he, he, it was a poor performance. It, he, he couldn't really do much. To be fair, the goals weren't really his fault, but. He didn't really stand out in the game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give Federico Fernandez a four out of ten. Emil Kraft, he got his first goal for Newcastle, his first goal in the Premier League, and it was a brilliant header. Fair play to him. He came in and came in out of the blue, just came in over Kevin Clark, and he scored. So I expect him maybe to play on Wednesday. Who knows? But good, good, good goal today defensively wasn't great to be honest but he scored a goal and he put 1-0 up so you've obviously got to bring his rating up for that I think Emil Kraft I think a 7 out of 10 yeah Paul Dummett now and I think he was our best defensive defender all game he was sliding in he was winning headers and I think he was our best defensive defender today and he really controlled um, Gabriel Jesus he didn't really get a chance or anything apart from that volley which which I think Emil Kraft was on him in the first half but I think Dummett was fine Came in, done his job, jobs are good, got his goal last week. I mean, he did concede four goals, but I don't think any of them were his fault. I don't think any of the goals were anyone's fault, apart from just, just great save, great play by Manchester City and a bit of luck, to be honest. But that's what happens when you're champions, you get a bit of luck, so fair play to them. Um, Paul Dummett, I reckon, I reckon a 6 out of 10. Matt Ritchie now on the left wing back, he worked his socks off today, so fair play to him. Really worked that left hand side, getting up and down that pitch. Made some good through balls to Maxi, good through balls to Joe Linton and trying to get up the pitch. When we are so defensive, he's, he's the one who's controlling that, getting that ball up the pitch. And we also did last week, obviously I've recorded all my videos, but him screaming about going, I love playing away. So hopefully you play against Fulham away, mate, and hopefully you can score, but... Today, Richie, he didn't really properly stand out. I'm happy he didn't take any of the pens because he's missed his last two or three. I think Matt Richie, I think, I think a six out of ten. John Joe Shelby is the first centre midfielder now, and I have slayed him in many weeks, and I think that was probably one of his best best games in a while, to be honest. I don't think it was up to scratch. I don't think it's a captain of Newcastle United's performance. I don't think a captain of Newcastle United should be should be performing like that, but. I think Shelby, I mean, he, pff, it, it's hard for him, it is, when you've got Gundogan, Bernardo Silva and uh, Rodri and your events going up. It, it was a hard day for him, but he made a couple of slide titles, but I don't think he was spectacular, but it wasn't one of his worst games that he's had this season, so I'm just going to give him a straight down, yeah, straight down the middle, 5 out of 10. Joe Willock now, some boy. 
That's all I've got to say. It's just some boy. Some boy. Five games for Newcastle in a row now. Five goals in every match. In his last five games, scored in every one. Superb. Imagine if he scored against Fulham and scored against us in Sheffield United. It would be unbelievable. We've got to sign him. We've got to do anything to sign him. For me, he doesn't have a future at Newcastle. I mean, it, it, no, he hasn't got a future at Arsenal. He's got a future at Newcastle. Sorry, boys. Uh, I just think if he went back to Arsenal, it, it, it's not going to ruin his career. But if he wants the game time. If he wants to focus on his football career, same for Newcastle. If he's asked about the money and get a new deal at Arsenal, stay at Arsenal, think about the money. But he's too good to think about the money. You've got to think about your football career when you've got that talent and when you've got a player like that, you've got to give him anything. If it, if it means we've got to give him the highest wage bill, do it. I don't know what he's on at a minute, but we've got to sign Joe Willock. It's, it's, it's essential that we do sign him and... Yeah, get a goal today. Mr. Penn bought he was there for the rebound, then he works his socks off. You see him at the end of the match. He he, he had to lie down. He was absolutely fucked. And if if the fans were in there, we would have clapped him off that pitch. Because if you're finishing the game and it's like, oh, done. No one like you. If you're going off that pitch, absolutely fucked. I can only praise you. Fair play to Joe Willock. Joe Willock today. 7 out of 10. Biggie now, I thought I thought Miggy was quite poor at the day, to be honest. He did win a couple of fouls. Uh, he won a foul for Shelby. He hit the ball for free kick. Forgot to mention that, speaking about Shelby. But he was losing the ball. His passing wasn't great. And is it maybe his time to drop him? I don't know. I think he's a player who thrived off the fans. And the fans being there on Wednesday could really help. So, who knows? He hasn't been great recently. But let's just hope he can maybe he's improve and... We'll wait. We will wait and see. Obviously, we know he's a, a quality player. We know he can score goals. We know we can get up the pitch, and he's got a bit of pace and he's got a bit of flair about him. We just can't overdo him, basically. And if Ryan Fraser's fit in the next coming weeks. Play Ryan Fraser because how can it hurt? Play him in a different position. Try and use him a little bit more. And why not? But Almond's performance today. I'm gonna go straight down the middle again. Five out of ten. First strike and I will do Alan St. Max I'm in. Didn't score, didn't assist. It, it wasn't a great game by Maxi to be honest. Like I'm I love Max, he's my favourite player. Without doubt. But I'll be brutally honest, he didn't have a great he, he, for his standards, today wasn't that great, to be honest with you. He normally gives you nine out of tens every game, but versus the hard city side, it is understandable. So let's just refreshen him up, get him ready for the fans, because the fans have missed seeing his face because when he when he gets back in the stadium, when we when we get back in the stadium, it'll it'll be like a fucking and it'll just be mad just just to see Alan St. Maxim in. I'm gonna give Maxi a six out of ten today. And finally, Joe Linton, good penalty today, and that penalty for me defined in his career in football. If he misses that penalty, he's done. Newcastle career done. Everyone banters him, gets so much hate. And it was good that he stepped up to the plate and scored it. Last seven games, three goals. Fair play, Joe Linton. Each coming in and scoring goals. Last seven matches, three goals. If that, if I tell you that was Callum Wilson in his last seven, three goals, you got that's good. Just because Joe Linton means oh, it's not that good. Forty million. Stop bringing up the price tag. It's done now. He's a Newcastle player. Forced on his Newcastle performances and. He, he, he done what he he done what he could. Had a chance in the first half and fair play to him. Uh, I'm gonna give him. I think I, I reckon it. You know what? No, I'm gonna give him. A, I'm gonna give him a seven out of ten. I think that's the best rating I give today, to be honest. But lads, that is the end of the player ratings. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What a madness, boys! What an absolute madness! And to be honest, boys, I think the next video you're gonna see on this channel, which I don't know, could be the Sheffield United preview and it's a big game considering I'm going to it and most likely it'll be uploaded on my birthday which is Monday the 70th of May so uh, I've had a good week boys I've got the week off work now to celebrate my birthday and stuff of out of lockdown indoor pubs oh it's going to be a good time boys and that game even though we lost it's put a smile on my face because it was a good game of football and I haven't seen that obviously last week I have but this season I haven't seen it I would much rather lose games like that rather than stay, sitting back and losing the game 1-0 
in my opinion. Anyways, boys, see you all in the next one. Don't know when it'll be. I might upload an Ultimate Team series, depending if I can or not. But I'll see you in, see you in the next one, boys. Have a good one.